Live mo na. Teka lang, nagla-live na. Ayan, naka-live na. 13 seconds live na siya. Okay. So, we can be heard? Not yet. Yes, we can be heard. Okay. So, we can encourage pag- people, ha? Uh, yung mga naka... Uh, kung meron man nakatutok na ngayon, uh, we will start at exactly 8.30pm. Philippine Standard Time, 8.21pm. Are we live? Okay. Time is it? 8.21. Yeah, 10 minutes. We're gonna talk about personal finance and the, during Corona and after Corona. Watching. If you have any questions about personal finance, put them in the comment section below. Share the stream and win yourself a practical T-shirt. How nice is the practical T-shirt? It's very nice. It has our logo on it. As you can see on the screen. And you can see on the screen. And if one goes to the mall and wearing that shirt, They get a discount. <laughs> But that we are working. On. Yes. So we'll start again. We'll start our show at exactly 8:30 p.m. It's now 8:23. We're talk about personal finance in the time of Corona. So in the during COVID crisis and the post COVID crisis and how we see it. Who's in the house? Who's in the house? We have Arnick, we have Tito Armand, and we have Raf on this show. So if you have any questions, again, questions about personal finance, please put them down in the comment section below. Share this stream and win yourself a very nice practical shirt. Again, Let the people know. Let the people know that you're practical. And again, nakita yan sa screen. Yes. Para Very good. Sa mga, para sa 8,000 viewers natin ngayon. Everybody watching. Yes. See that shirt on the screen. You can win it by sharing this stream on your Facebook wall. Ask a question below. Leave a comment. Win yourself a very nice practical T-shirt. So, Raft, for you, what does it mean to be practical or practical? Para sa akin, being a rich woman. Pagiging <laughs> well, aside from that, uh, pagiging practical para sa akin ay Bibili ng gamit na talagang kailangan mo. Kailangan lang? Basta, kay, basta binili mo yung kailangan mo, practical yun. For me, oh. Kung may luho, right. pwede. Pero i-control yung luho. At naman tayo may luho, eh. One way or okay. another. What about you, Tito Arman? What does it mean to be practical or practical? Naiba na yung uh, pananaw ko ng financial 
literacy. Dapat uh, matuto maging practical. Tuloy-tuloy yung didiscuss natin ngayon. Yung pag-manage ng personal finances. That's being practical. That means ang uh, pinakaiba o naiba doon sa pananaw ko is yung uh, continuous earning. Hindi ka tulad dati, you plan to retire at 60 or kayong mga millennial, baka iniisip nyo, I'll, pagdating ko ng 40, 45, retired na ako. I think, uh, Sam, Sam, sa discuss natin na uh, tonight, which will officially start four minutes from now, am I correct? Four minutes, yes. Yeah, so four minutes to the start of the show. So, yeah. Joint us, uh, we'll officially start the show at 8.30 p.m. We'll talk about personal finance in the corona era and the post-corona era. And uh, if you have any questions, leave them at the comment section below. I see eight people tuned in right now. So last Monday, who was the guest last Monday? Last Monday we had Mariel Hernandez. She was she is a travel entrepreneur. She's a millennial, right? Yes, definitely a millennial with the YOLO mindset and she talked about stepping up and uh, how stepping up helped her in establishing her business and herself. You know, it's all right, it's all right to be having the YOLO mindset for you millennials. It's actually okay. Yeah. But uh, I would like to include Y-O-L-O-M-I-C Yeah, you only live once um, You also die once <laughs> Of course But uh, M-I-C M-I-C is making it count Whatever you're doing Maybe play uh, Work or praying Make sure it counts so Make it count Even if you have the Yellow mentality, millennials. So it's actually start the show in two minutes. Actually, one minute. One minute. So uh, Philippine standard time. Standard time, yeah. Philippine standard time, twenty nine minutes after eight. Nangungumpisa po tayo, malapit na. <laughs> Mula na. Sa so, Filipino time dito, so we're starting exactly 8.30 p.m. <clears throat> Ayun uh, yung Facebook live na to, which will officially start 8.30. And 8.30 na guys. Good evening and welcome to Millennial Mondays brought to you by Practical. My name is Arnick. I'm a typical millennial finding my way around my finances. I'm joined here by Raf, another millennial. And he is a business owner based in La Union. So in the show, we tackle different millennial takes and other financial misconceptions as our advocate, Tito. Armand Benko guides us through. So Tito Armand has been teaching financial literacy sa iba-ibang programa tulad ng T 
TV, radio, social media in the past 17 years, and he's kind enough to be our resident financial expert for this show. So, para sa lahat na nanonood ng Facebook Live na to, feel free to ask any questions sa comment section. Mamimigay kami ng exclusive practical t-shirts sa lahat na magko-comment, magtatanong, at mag-share ng stream na to. So, for tonight, we have a very special topic at hand. So, we're in our third month into quarantine. At ang usapan natin ngayon is personal finance during this COVID crisis era and what we're looking forward to in the post-COVID era. All right, so uh, I just have one question. No? So, we've seen an influx of spending sa delivery services dahil we're in quarantine. So, do you think, do you guys think magko-continue to after quarantine? Itong, itong food delivery and grocery delivery increase? Well, uh, uh, one week noong uh, quarantine, the first week of quarantine, everybody felt na um scrimping or scrimping for cash no uh, nung nasanay na ikalawa o ikatlong linggo ayan buhay pala yung mga deliveries buhay pala yung mga ibang restaurants so i can still enjoy uh, uh, the food fast food or uh, casual dining food na uh, galing sa restaurants kaya kung meron mang natipid sa transportation dahil quarantine mm-hmm. eh, na-divert naman sa uh, mga food deliveries which is obviously uh, mas mahal because of an additional cost in sa cost of delivery mm-hmm. second uh, um, yung uh, siyempre pagkain sa labas sa mga restaurant is always mas mahal sa uh, ba- sa pagkain na binili sa palengke niluto sa bahay um uh, pag pag marami yung kakain sa bahay pero kung dalawa lang kayo kakain sa bahay uh, kadalasan hindi automatic mas mahal yung food ordered outside kaysa yung niluto sa bahay kasi yung kung dalawa lang kayo bibili ka ng half a kilo of whatever tapos may leftover e eh, di sayang yun kuryente or gasol na ginamit mo yung mga rekado, yung oras na nagluto ka. So, those are costs na hindi nakikita pag maraming kakain sa bahay. Yan, ma, pa, parang almost automatic, mas mura yung kumain ng nilutong pagkain sa bahay compared to ordering from fruit outside, lalo na deliver. Yung tanong mo, tatagal ba ito, lalakas? I believe so. Uh, all restaurants now are... Uh, 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 ngayong 2020 DC during COVID um, yan ang way nila nung unang linggo nagre-reclamo mga restaurant businesses paano na negosyo ko walang tao sa mall well bring it home uh, or deliver it uh, at home so uh, never uh, na-appreciate yung Viber community which I am suggesting dito sa practical uh, you have your own Viber community ngayon, meron lang talagang Viber communities sa San Juan, Quezon City, and you would see uh, people there who would uh, be uh, offering their products, even services. Remember last week, uh, I had your car cleaned, Arnig? Uh, Doon mo siya hindi nakakaalam. Uh, hindi ko po kapatid si Arnig. Uh, siya ang uh, bunso kong anak. And Raph is uh, my nephew uh, from my eldest sister, my favorite sister here in the Philippines. Uh, kasi yung isang kapatid ko wala dito sa Philippines. Yung isang ate ko. Anyways, uh, goods, services are now delivered at your doorstep uh, uh, or at your home. So that that will be part of the new norm of 2020 AC Red uh, after COVID. Part of the new norm na You mentioned this a vibrant community, you know. Uh, I've I've seen these communities and they're posting uh, their products, their services. Would you think it's gonna be easier now for people to set up home-based businesses 
Oh just yes. Because of the community and the viral community, or just because of the delivery uh, influx. Yes. Nowadays. Uh, remember uh, what is that calendaria there in San Juan? Bang bang ba yun? Ali. Aling banans. Aling banans. That's a calendaria. Technically, yeah. Okay. 20, 2020 BC before COVID. Um, siya yung uh, uh, isa sa mga karinderya that started doing deliveries. Ngayon, malaki ang chance. You just have a good photograph, uh, potahe na hindi madalas, usually niluluto ng isang household, yung mga menudo. Ah, ano yun? Yung paborito ko, coming from your lola? Embutido. Embutido. Someone who has food products na niluto nila sa bahay na uh, hindi usually niluto ng common household, they have a chance to do business now. Part of the new norm, again. So, uh, wait, meron pala mga talaga nanonood, ano? Uh, so, there's about 17. Hindi naman siguro ito lahat kamag-anak namin. Um, and kaya namin ginagawa ito. Uh, gusto ko lang paalala at paalam nyo sa kayo mga nanonood na hindi namin mga kamag-anak. Uh, miski na uh, kamag-anak incorporated to, tatlo kami magkakamag-anak dito. This is one financial literacy uh, endeavor na I want to say not only coming from my mind as someone who does financial literacy or an advocate of financial literacy or based on my experience, I'm giving financial literacy to people I love. So, hanggat maari, hindi mali uh, at hindi kalokohan ang, uh, ang financial literacy experiences or advice na ibibigay namin. Hindi kami magtuturo, hindi kami nagdidikta, but, but this millennial boys just want to uh, at a different situation para hindi ko sila nababatukan o namumura habang sinasermonan they just wanted it uh, online so share this Facebook live in your Facebook walls kayo pong mga nakatutok sa amin this yeah. is a father and a tito uh, sharing financial literacy experiences uh, uh, to people important to me to people I love so it must be something important or worthwhile so Share your post on Facebook Live na to. So, again, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. Uh, share this your Facebook wall and win an exclusive pet practical t-shirt. Alright? Uh, Raph, can you see already the uh, people who made the comment? Yes, yes. Uh, um, uh, then give kay, a shout out to them. Shout out lang tayo kay Ida, who is watching from Hong Kong. Hi, Ida. Alright. Wow. Yeah, Uh, so, so, mag-ingat kayo sa Hong Kong yeah, dahil uh, mag-rally yeah. ulit doon. Protesta na naman doon. Hope you guys are well. Hope you guys are safe. Yes. Yeah. Uh, two last shoutouts for now kay uh, Joel Gala of KSK. Hi Joel. Thanks of for course. watching. Uh, uh, Paco Manila. And oh, kay Jocelyn Maranya who is watching from Kuwait. Talaga, oh wow. Itong, Another one. Itong practical right. show natin talagang uh, reaching natin. international water Or right now. Reaching international waters. <laughs> Pero yeah, kasi lahat talaga tayo kailangan maging practical. Uh, yes. Yes. Connecting from that, ang na-notice ko dito um, sa La Union, kung nasaan ako, yun nga, as you guys, ang dami nga nag-food business, di ba? Pero right now kasi, especially uh, sa province, madami yung mga work na, ano eh, mga no work, no pay. Especially since mm-hmm. tourism-centric yung community. Lahat dito, as in lahat, pati mga hostel, everybody, nag-convert into a food business. So, I, I think, isa yung lesson, no, dito Armand, na at these times, talaga, kailangan ng multiple sources of income. Diba? Yeah. yeah. Uh, ito nga, itong uh, the material that we prepared for tonight, ano, the new norm in managing personal finances. Um, if you will indulge me, uh, uh, viewers, no, and uh, you millennial boys, uh, five minutes. The, the managing of our personal finances, 2020 BC, before COVID, mm-hmm. ngayong COVID, at pag nawala na tong COVID, 
pareho pa rin sa aking pananaw. Papaalalahanan ko pa rin ang anak ko, mga mahal ko sa buhay, sila Raf, at kayo, mga sumusubaybay sa amin sa practical. Yung five activities of earning, planning, saving, spending, investing, nandyan pa rin yung lima na yan. Before COVID, during COVID ngayon, and even after COVID. Merong may iba, obviously. Yung tinatanong ni Raf, unang-una, um, sa earning. Ngayon, hindi, dati, dati pala, before COVID, 2020 BC, sinasabi lang dalawang paraan para kumita. Active income, passive income. Active income, yung kapalit ng oras at galing at pawis mo. Yung iba, luha at dugo, kumita ka ng pera. Yun yung active income. Passive income, may ginawa ka doon sa pera, nagbigay sa'yo ng chance ng dagdag na pera. That's passive income. Kaya, passive income is equal to investment income. Active income, yan yung mga sweldo mo, commission, overtime, 13th month pay, doon sa mga empleyado. Kapalit ng oras, pawis at galing na binigay mo, binigyan ka ng pera. Noon, isang active income lang. Ngayon, 2020 BC, during COVID, naghanap ng alternative income. Miskin na ng 2020 BC, meron na ng mga ibang uh, yung term, terminology na uh, part-time income, sideline income, uh, extra income. Well, ngayon, during COVID and after COVID, yan na magiging new norm. Hindi ka lang sa iisang employer or iisang source of active income. Tap, lagi kang merong dalawa, tatlo, apat na active income. Uh, ano yung mga kwento sa atin ng mga nagtatrabahong kamag-anak natin sa Amerika? Employed sila, 9 to 6, pero pagdating ng mga 7 to 10 o 7 to 11, magsa-second job sila, Arnick. Di ba yung mga kwento sa atin? Mag- Magka-valley parking, mag magiging bartender pero meron silang day job ngayon at hanggang mawala itong uh, miskin na after COVID uh, having additional active income sources that, that will be the new norm second uh, new norm uh, yung sinabi ko nung off the air pa tayo nung hindi pa tayo officially nagsastart wala nang retirement ngayon uh, best example My mentor, almost like a second father, Francisco Colaico, 75 years old, has never stopped uh, working. Technically, he retired at age 60, semi-retirement, but he never stopped earning or finding ways to earn actively, even up to now, even if he is quarantined. So, sa new norm, parang pasay na yung you will retire and sit on the couch Binigyan na tayo ng chance ng 2020 BC during COVID. Kung ano yung tambay ka lang sa bahay, nakaupo, nonood ng TV, at ano ang reklamo natin? Parang nakakaasiwa. So, more than the hindi tayo sanay, yan ang magiging new norm na uh, minus the emotion or the sad story. Naku, akong matanda na, pinagpapasa-pasa ako ng mga anak ko, wala akong tinitirhan, and etc. Ngayon, self-reliance, self-reliance by way of still earning income hanggang mamatay tayo. Yan ang new norm ngayon. Uh, pag-planning naman, di ba sinabi natin, di mga activities, planning, ang planning ngayon ay may iba. Uh, yung dating alam natin na short-term planning, 3 to 5 years, ngayon, 3 uh, months to 6 months, matagal na yung 12 months. Ang medium-term planning noon, 5 eh, uh, to 10 years, ngayon, 1 to 3 years. Yung long-term planning noon na uh, 10 to 20 years, hanggang umabot ako 60, uh, kung misi na 40 years old ako ngayon na limbawa, ngayon ang long-term planning, 3 to 5 years lang, long-term planning na. Ramdam na ramdam kasi natin ngayon yung sinasabing black swan. Pag narinig nyo yung salitang black swan, yung hindi mo inaasahan biglang nangyari, katulad ngayon, global economy, stop. Almost every nation na tinamaan ng uh, 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 COVID-19 pandemic, sarado, bawal ang turista and all. Ang ekonomiya halos sumihinto. So ang pagpaplano ngayon na uh, still kailangan, 
pero umikli ang period. Um, sa saving naman, saving, eh, um, it's a not so sexy word, di ba? Lalo na sa mga millennials. Siguro kung ang... Kung it's always ang, thrown around, eh. It's, it's always, like, given to us and it's always thought to be one of the most important financial lessons. Na kailangan mag-ipon, di ba? Uh-huh. Uh, pero ngayon, pinilit na, sinabi sa ating lahat, hey boy, kailangan meron kang ipon. In fact, uh, ang malaking pinagkaiba uh, ngayon, kumpara noon, at tingin ko magtutuloy-tuloy na, saving will be a priority. Yung mga nilagay nyo sa mga video, sa mga practical YouTube, so uh, pra- practical Facebook posts nyo, uh, Instagram posts nyo, uh, reasons for savings. Mm-hmm. Totoong-totoo na ngayon yun. Save to you, save to keep, save to share. Yung mga savings equation, income minus savings equals expenses. Madali na ngayon maituro yan. Ang dali sabihin eh, in our recent history, in our current situation, kung wala kang savings, yari ka. Mm-hmm. Okay? So, yung mga kailangan pa rin pag-ipunan, uh, ang ata-angat o litaw na litaw dapat may cash on hand ka dapat may emergency fund ka dapat may cash reserves ka so magkakaiba yung tatlo na yun cash on hand yung pera mo nagagastos yun para sa buwan na to meron ka na on hand mo na emergency fund life of death situation cash reserves kapag ito yung uh, uh, nangyari ulit itong ganitong uh, lockdown uh, hinahinto ang sweldo, nabawasan ang sweldo, o hindi ka na sa sweldo. Kailangan meron tayong cash reserves. And of course, sa pinakapaborita natin doon sa limang activity, spending. Ano ang tinuro sa atin ngayon? Iniba na yung needs and wants. Yun yung before COVID. Ngayon, ano ang uh, during COVID at tatagal pa after COVID? Ano na ang needs ngayon? Ano na ang tawag? Essentials. Essentials. Ang hirap pa spending. Ang haba, dati needs lang. Ngayon, essentials. Spending, online spending. Uh, how did you, how were you able to buy whatever goods or services uh, via online or via uh, phone call? Online, uh, using the internet. Yan na ang uh, uh, new norm ngayon. Uh, your financial identity. Napakahalaga ngayon. Ano yung financial identity? It is but a requirement now na meron kang bank account. Yeah, meron kang identity uh, na kinikilala ng pamahalaan, kinikilala ng financial world. Uh, related to online spending is online banking. Uh, lahat ng mga nahirapan, miskin na rin pa sweldo, pero hindi makapag online banking, hindi matras- matransfer yung sweldo. And of course, yung mga payment apps, no? sikat na sikat ngayon, na uh, management app, Gcash, Paymaya, uh, yan ngayon na mga bagong norm of uh, uh, spending. Kapag pwede na tayong pumunta sa mall, yung mga familiar doon sa salitang QR code, ganun na ang mga bayaran ngayon. Alam nga pa, prediction ko pa, in less than 5 years, biometric na ang pagbayad. Anong sabihin ng biometric? Hindi lang financial identity of a bank account. Bibigyan mo yung thumbprint mo na lang paano ka magbayad. Tatapat mo na lang yung mata mo sa optical screen. Yun na ang bayad. You, you think that's not far off? In five years' time. In five years' time. Meron nang nag attempt niya noong 2020 BC, before COVID. Pero oh. ngayon, lalong mapapabilis yan. Lalong mapapabilis. Ang tao ngayon will have a financial value. Ang thumbprint mo, yung mata mo, yun na lang ang pangbayad. Of course, meron kasing nag-top up may value yung pagkatao mo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Para, para magkaroon tayo ng prepaid account through our biometrics. Through our biometrics. At sa new norm, uh, very soon, uh, 2020 AC, uh, dito nga yung una na rin eh. And lastly, uh, in investing. Uh, ngayon, 2020 BC, parang, ay, parang hindi maganda yung mga equity type of investment, yung mga stock market kasi bumagsak. Uh, uh, lalo na, nagsara pa nga yung Philippine Stock Exchange, yung stock market. But, hey, buy low, sell high. Alam na, alam na natin yun. Noon, ngayon, at bukas, yun pa rin ang, uh, ang sister sa equity or buy type of investment. 
makabili ka ng mas mababa, mabenta mo sana ng mas mataas. Kung bumagsak ngayon, sana may pera ka pang long term, 3 to 5 years, then uh, uh, malaki ang chance mo to make money out of your investments now in equity or buy type of investments. Bitcoin, yung uh, uh, pinag-uusapan o binapadala mo sa akin, Arnie, yes. um, Okay. Hindi siya mas mababa siya compared dun sa pinakamataas niya noon. Uh, umabot siya ng $20,000 per Bitcoin. Ngayon, eh, uh, I think $8,800 uh, mm-hmm. per Bitcoin. Yun lang potential niya. Kung, uh, Bitcoin, di ba bumagsak yan? Yes, bumagsak. From $20,000 na pinakamataas niya noon, 2017, December. Ngayon, $8,000. Ibig sabihin yun ang potential niya. About more than 100%. So kung meron kayong pera, mga 5% ng inyong investable funds at investable funds kaya yung pa uh, palaguin patulugin 5 years ako uh, I will suggest get into Bitcoin I'm not, I'm not into Bitcoin trading I am into buying low selling high um, and that's the new tawag nila internet of money uh, Bitcoin kung tatanungin in the, in the future, baka maganda. Yan ang pag-usapan natin sa Millennial Mondays. Uh, Bitcoin, cryptocurrency. So, yun. No? Uh, in managing personal finances, it may be the same activities, but maraming pagbabago. From earning, planning, saving, spending, investing, lalo na sa spending, sa investing, sa pagpaplano, and the way we earn. Multiple sources of, uh, multiple streams of income. So, meron tayong question uh, galing sa isa sa mga 21,000 viewers natin ngayon. Thanks for watching, wow! guys. Uh, may question yes. tayo galing kay Arnold Benko. Uh, tinatanong niya, Arnold. Tinatanong niya, during, uh, during Corona, can I ask what have the millennials changed in their spending habits? And do they think they will return to those habits? So, Kaya sumabot niya. I think tayo na sasagot na kami. Hindi naman na kami. Um, ako muna? O... Okay. Yeah. Um, my take on it is... Ano yung binago mo daw? Ano yung binago mo? Yeah. Um, of course, bawas luho. Kasi lahat ng luho, bawal ngayon. Kung iinom ka, ang lungkot naman uminom mag-isa. Diba? So, ang hirap ko gumimik kasi lahat ng gimmick... Uh, place, sarado. So, at least now, lahat ng ipon ko, and I think uh, lahat ng mga contemporaries ko would say, would say the same, na lahat ng mga ipon ko na didirect sa lahat, halagang mas kailangan na bagay. Diba? Yung, yung, yung mga talagang essential. Now, kung ang question ay, kung babalik ba sa old habits, ang masasabi ko dyan ay... Lahat ng tao sinasabi, new normal, hindi back to normal. So, um, uh, it might, pero at least na yun, na, na, niliwanagan na yung mga millennials na mag-ipon para sa lahat talagang kailangan. Ikaw, Arnick, anong take mo dun? Ako, sa tingin ko, in, in different ways may babalik, in different ways may mag hmm. So, ako, for me personally, nag-ipa yung expenses ko in a way na, syempre, bibili na lang kung ano yung kailangan kasi wala na naman ibang first of all wala na ibang mabibili and the first <coughs> second of all it's really in a time of need right now syempre it's a crisis so so uh, teka lang we're gonna do some technical checks I think nakat tayo from our live stream teka and now we're back sorry Arnick okay. pwede stop Pakirepeat yung last part mo para just in case lang sa mga hindi nakarinig. So, uh, like I said, uh, I think some part of it yung spending habits ko babalik kasi some of my uh, spending really goes to eating outside and gas. And yun. So, I would say pag na lift na quarantine I'd be going out again kasi first of all yung girlfriend ko taga Paranaque and pupuntahan ko siya so I'd have gas cost okay? gas cost again and kakain yun sa labas pag pwede na and majority dun, dun lang din naman so anong nabago 
ako ang tingin ko nakikita ko sa mga tao dahil still go out no uh, for work nakikita ko yung online spending na dati hindi naman daw nila ginagawa dahil hindi pa nila nasusukat yung damit hindi pa nila nahahawakan yung gadget ngayon tanggap na nila na makita na lang nila kapat dinilater na uh, kaya miski na yung nagnegosyo uh, iniiba niya na rin o merong naiba sa kanya na tingin ko uh, yes, konti babalik pero kailangan tanggapin niya na na new north uh, dati uh, yung nagbebenta online mag-deposit ka muna, mag-transfer ka muna sa akin ng pera. Sabi naman ng mga mas maraming bumibili ngayon, that first time nilang bumibili online, na hindi, gusto ko COD. So, parehong nag-adjust yung acceptance of COD, mm. yung pag-demands, yung pag-bili online, eh, uh, that's a new thing now na uh, tingin ko uh, malaking pagkakaiba compared ng 2020 BC before COVID. Uh, dati, uh, ikaw, Arnick, alam ka na, ayokong bumibili online, but uh, wala eh. Kailangan natin i-accept. Yeah. Uh, tapos yung mga dating hindi naman uh, si COD, dahil gusto nila mag- baka prank buyer ka o para masigurado yung bayad, bayaran mo muna bago i-deliver. I was I'm surprised even the uh, big stores now allows COD cash on delivery. Meron pa ba ibang tanong, Raph? May, ako, may question ako. Yes. You mentioned kanina na, na yung planning planning your finances nag na yung short, yeah. medium, long term. Yung period. It got shorter. Yes. The panic period. Yes. Does that mean na yung investment strategies should change as well? Kasi uh, yeah. yung mga uh, investment strategy na ah, i- i-cash out ito pagka-retire ko. So, like, pag-alit nyo ng 55, hindi realistic papating na yun ngayon in a broader perspective kasi nga, nag-iba na yung, mag-iiba na yung planning of personal finance. Ako, tingin ko, tingin ko, mm-hmm. uh, mas magiging conscious doon sa absolute amount strategy. Meaning, based on target talaga, uh, bigyan ko ng 3 years, 5 years, by the way, yung sinabi ko yung 3, na short term yung period, hindi ibig sabihin ikaw, uh, 26 years old, uh, hindi ka na magpaplano pag, uh, ano ang plano mo pagdating mo ng 36 o pagdating mo ng 40 because that's more than 10 years from now. Remember, pagdating mo ng after 5 years, magpaplano ka ulit ng next 5 years hanggang maabot mo yung edad din na yun. So, ako ang tingin ko lang, uh, the planning, uh, the targets, it may be moving, obviously, pero more of absolute amount strategy. Ito, in five years' time, dapat ganito pera ko. Kapag maganda ang bawi ng ekonomiya, then you get your target at a shorter period of time. Then you adjust your plans again. Yung adjust naman ng plano, hindi lang naman on the negative adjusting of your plans. Eh. Pwedeng adjusting dahil, uh, for whatever, kina kasi, Pumapak yung uh, investment mo sa mutual funds, sa stock market, sa negosyo, bigla nagtagsaan, rough, dyan, yung uh, turista. Um, tayo, kinakwentuhan natin, kwentuhan natin privately, uh, baka magkaroon ng uh, uh, renewed interest sa bisikleta. Uh, kinakwento ko rin yan kay Tito Arnold na uh, nag-question sa atin. Um, baka may biglang may windfall from this crisis, you will adjust your plan. Ang importante lang, there is something written down that you are very conscious, hindi yung nasa utak lang natin, nangangarap lang tayo, hindi tayo na plano. Uh, um, always monitor and uh, keep on adjusting your plan. Yung sa tanong mo, strategy, sana nasagot ko, absolute amount. Uh, one, mil- one million in three years time, uh, five years time, uh, ganun. Uh, absolute amount. Hindi lang ano yung magandang investment dahil uso, popular, burgess, everyone's into it. Uh, katulad nung nakita ko sa screen mo, tinitignan mo yung crypto trading, tumitignan ka na. You know, it's not just because it's the in thing, something new, uh, dapat the, uh, 
there is a strategy behind it. Mm-hmm. All right. So last shout out sa mga ano ba? Sa mga para mapansin naman pabati naman sila. Yeah, mga shout Ellen, Elena, sorry, Elena Kalibuyot. Ah, uh, nanonood. Salamat po. Um uh, si Jocelyn uh, Maranya, ito, comment ng comment for sure. Nanalo ito ng, ng isang practical shirt. Uh, ay, ay, panalo na yan. Panalo na yan. Proud, <laughs> ay, wala nga. I-share na lang itong uh, Facebook live na ito, please. Uh, proud KSK member daw siya. Salamat. Uh, salamat. Uh, pag-selfie and autograph pa raw sa'yo. <laughs> Kanino? Kay Jocelyn Maranya. So, share na ito Facebook page. Ay, uh, salamat. Sa salamat. I-share mo sa Facebook page. Gusto namin makita ko ng itsura ng selfie and autograph niyo. At saka kay Yoli Valdez, watching also from Hong Kong. Sa mga taga-Hong Kong na Hong Kong. who are watching, stay safe po sa mga protesta. Alright. Um, yeah, alright. Alright, so once again, thank you for tuning in. We will be live every Monday to discuss different topics on finance and investments as guided by Tito Armand. If you have any questions, please comment them below or send send us a message. Even better, if you'd like to ask Tito Armand yourself, we'd like to have you in our show. So follow us on Instagram at Caracital and subscribe to our YouTube channel. So as mentioned kanina, ang daming pagbabago, ang daming magbabago, and now the new norm ay maging Caracital. Thank you for watching. Good night. See you next Monday. See you next Monday.